and I've been through it, don't worry, it might seem like spending $500 in like the span of one week is outrageous, but I guess in this video, I'm pretty much gonna tell you why it's not. <clears throat> okay, yo, so, uh, welcome back to Behind the Scenes. I think the last time that we spoke was during all the Atlanta content. Ever since then, to be honest, I've probably had the most successful weeks of my business. And you know, it wasn't free though. It, it actually kind of cost me a pretty penny. I know a lot of you guys might be scared to invest your money into your business or your creative work. And I've been through it, don't worry. It might seem like spending $500 in like the span of one week is outrageous. Um, but I guess in this video, I'm pretty much gonna tell you why it's not. So right off the bat, I live in Vancouver and my channel specializes in rap interviews. Like that's the content that will be the foundation of me making money in the future. However, a roadblock for me is that out here in Vancouver, there's no like major record labels or constant events going on where there's a bunch of artists and music industry people. So what I did was I looked back in my previous videos just to see like what was working for me. I'd say that's the first step is like find out what actually worked for your business. I realized that I've been getting the most fans and subscribers after doing an in-person interview with an artist, maybe having them post it on their social media after, you know, their whole fan base seeing it and then coming back to my page and you know, they end up liking me. So ultimately the question I have to answer now is okay how can I make more of these one-on-one -on -one interviews happen and you know I could sit at home and send a bunch of emails all day which can work to some extent but judging by what has worked for me in the past being in front of someone is the most impressive I need to just go up and show my face uh, to these artists these managers and these publicists because at the end of the day they're the ones who are going to be giving me interviews. I need to make it so they're so impressed with my media outlet that they're just going to come to me for interviews. And you know, I was just online and I found this big music conference called A3C, which was being held in the hub of hip hop, Atlanta. So it's kind of funny, but I spent my $500 budget on really just two things. One of them being the $200 conference ticket, and second was the $300 round trip flight to Atlanta. And, and I know you're probably thinking like, what the hell, like way to blow all that money so quick. But let me tell you what I got out of that $500. Now we're gonna talk about something called return on investment. Pretty self-explanatory, you know, what did you get out of the money that you invested into your business? For every dollar that you paid, what did you get out of it? Now look, I did my networking, I filmed an interview, I met every single necessary person I needed to meet to make more interviews happen. And those people liked me so much that they shared my work with all their label friends and those people ended up emailing me, like asking me to interview their artists. And now, obviously I can't tell you specifically, but I have some pretty big content planned with some pretty big artists. Now look, people who have their own business, a lot of them spend their money on you know reaching a bigger audience. Running ads is probably the most convenient. You have to do the least amount of work, but that kind of varies, you know? Like for me, think about it. I was at a hip hop conference. Any type of audience that I would ever wanna reach through an ad was there, all in this big one place. They're all pretty much people that are guaranteed to like my business. Literally at one point, I went to this event called a mixer. A mixer is just a small little room where people who don't know each other just walk around and introduce themselves. I kid you not, I just walked around and I met like a hundred people and I got all of them to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I got a hundred subscribers in 30 minutes, like just because I could. And yo, off of one interview I shot there, which was uh, the Duop Kane interview, I got a thousand subscribers in the span of three days. All right, yo, we're in this, we're in this new room right now or whatever, but uh, I'm gonna quickly just go do the math and compare my trip versus running ads. So I wanna show you my ROI on an ad that I ran before. Um, this was a general YouTube ad where I was just talking to the camera, um, you know, I showed clips of some of my interviews and it was shown on people who watch similar channels like uh, No Jumper and DJ Academics, right? So I spent $42 and the button that you click um, makes you subscribe to my YouTube channel, right? And I ended up getting 54 subscribers from this ad meaning that I got 1.2 subscribers for every dollar I paid um, and you know 54 subscribers divided by $42 that I spent equals 1.2 subscribers. I'm not that good at math by the way, this is just kind of simple, uh, but this means that if I ran a $500 ad, right, because I spent that much money on my, uh, on my flight and ticket, if I spent a $500 ad instead of $42, Let's see, 1.2 subscribers times 500 bucks, 100 dollars, 
equals 600 subscribers. I would roughly get about 600 subscribers if I paid for a $500 ad. So that's my return on investment, all right? Now, out of my $500 trip, I'll tell you what I got. I shot one interview there, right? And from that interview alone, I got 1,000 subscribers. You know, so that's already more than, you know, getting 600 subscribers if I were to run a $500 ad. Um, so yeah, it, it alone has already, you know, beat that. Again, the Mixer event. I could have went to more and if I knew it was that easy, I would have just kept doing it. But I got 100 subscribers from that one Mixer event. So right now we have 1,100 subs. At three FaceTime interviews, I shot, um, you know, while going up to Atlanta artists and just being like, hey, I really want to um, FaceTime you. But, you know, but those usually get me like 150 subscribers each. And um, I shot three of them. So that's 450 right there. So all together right now, you know, we have 1000 subs plus 100. So 1100 plus 450, which is 1550 subscribers is what I got from my trip um, to Atlanta. But okay, now let me explain what these subs and like all these views are actually getting me in the different room or whatever. Those views from the interviews are making me a bit of money, but more importantly, are building me an audience and attention. Once you have attention, you can make all of that money back plus more. Let's say I wanted to start selling clothes and merch and other products. People will buy it regardless, just because they're so invested into my brand. I repeat, you can do almost anything with attention. Plus, once you get some social proof going and a fan base, you don't even need to pay for these music industry events. I'm gonna keep it real, give it a year or two, and let's say I keep putting out this content consistently, you know, I'll establish that big subscriber count and following, and I probably won't ever have to pay to go to something like A3C ever again. And honestly, that could even lead me to end up being a speaker at A3C. I mean, that means the money I spent was clearly worth it. But yo, 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 simply put, my return on investment was way higher when I decided to spend that money on taking a trip rather than spending it on ads. Also, since we're talking about money, if you spent $500 that week, best believe if you're smart, you're not gonna do any unnecessary spending for the rest of that whole month. You're like, yo, even me, I have a habit of uh, going to Tim Hortons, which by the way, yo, if you're in the US, just do your Googles, like I'm tired of people not knowing what Tim Hortons is. Um, but yeah, I end up getting Tim Hortons or like outside snacks just just because I can, you know, just because it's available, which is fine, you know, like you need to treat yourself here and there if you've been working hard. But in this case, if you spent that $500, you know, chances are you're going to want to save a bit more money for the future. So let's say every three days you spend about $10 on, uh, on unnecessary food from outside. I'm being safe, by the way, like $10. It's probably more. If I cut down those $10 every three days, you know, on your average month, you basically saved $100. And I know it doesn't seem like you're paying that much money for your coffee or your McDonald's, but trust me, it adds up. But yeah, you saved $100, which is almost a quarter of that $500 you spent. And I definitely am not gonna go buy unnecessary clothes or shoes, because guys, like at some point, you gotta make a sacrifice, you know? Um, on one hand, do you wanna have a successful business or do you wanna have the latest Yeezys? And yo, I've been wanting Yeezys for a long time but I probably won't get them anytime soon. So my point in this video is if I can do that, you guys can do it too. This applies even if you're an artist. If you feel like what's missing um, from your catalog is like you need to work with better producers or better artists, then yo, go, go take a trip to LA and go work with those producers and artists um, because at the end of the day, your music will be better and you'll get that attention and that fan base that I was talking about. Trust me, if you have attention, you can do anything. But yeah, basically to sum this up, don't be afraid to invest money in yourself and your business but uh, really try to do the math, you know, and like strategically plan out, okay, what exactly will spending this $500 get me? What will be my return on investment? Um, yeah, I hope this video helped. I know not a lot of creators talk about how much money they make or how much money they spend on things. So I thought this will be valuable to you guys. So yeah, you know, let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. I really read all the comments and uh, I wanna know like if you had $500, what would you spend it on? I think I should probably see you guys next week. And right now you're watching behind the scenes. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching that video. If these are the type of videos you wanna see more, you need to let me know in the comments below because uh, I just want my channel to be as transparent as I can with you guys. Um, but yo, it's time to read the top comment. So on the last video, Vlone Thug 2700 commented, I saw this interview because I'm a huge duop fan and now I'm a fan of you. Uh, I love the interview and your ideas. Bro, that's a really, really nice comment. Like that's the ideal comment. <laughs> um, but I hope you subscribe whoever you are, Thug 2700 and I hope you guys also are going to subscribe after seeing this. Um, I don't want you to miss the next video.